puppies and in this video we are showing off a batch of F1 gold mini golden doodle puppies. They're extremely cute. Um, they are expected to be 25 to 30 pounds and they have uh, they're on our website Hidden Acres Puppies. You can check us out there. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can go on our website. It's Sadie and Cooper's litter. Uh, now, by the time you watch this, you may see the individual puppy names. Um, if you click on the any individual puppy, you'll see the mother name, and uh, it'll be for these. So I'm going to uh, go through each puppy. Uh, they do have collars and um, and names, so they'll be named and and have the collar color on the website as well. So here we go. Uh, first puppy, uh, he is got a list here. Uh, we have yellow collar and we're calling him Alfie. So Alfie is a chunk. He's a, a very solid, um, really dark red. He's a beautiful dark red. It's one of our most requested colors. This whole litter is dark red. Um, so if you're looking for a really dark red mini golden doodle, this is an excellent um, fit. And they're calm. They're, uh, he's very calm natured. They're very quiet. They're, they, they do love to play. And uh, we have the other puppies out. You'll probably hear some background noise, but uh, they do love to play. But when you hold them, they love to just snuggle. And uh, they're, just, they're just very relaxed. So Alfie is Alfie. He's alert, but he's not, you know, he's not shy, but he's calm. So he's, he's kind of got a medium curly coat and then on his face is probably be a little bit more curly. Uh, so as an adult, this coat type typically gets kind of loose curls. So there you go, Alfie. Expected size is going to be on the upper range of 25, uh, between 25 and 30 for F1s is, is the typical size range. I would expect him to be closer to 30. So definitely a little bit larger. He's a solid chunk. He probably weighs about up between eight and a half and nine pounds right now. And they are six weeks old as of this video. So there you go. Alfie, yellow collar, male. So next up we have blue collar boy. Blue collar, you'll see it on the website. And we call him Atticus. So he is a, he's slightly smaller and a little bit more of golden red. And uh, he has got a super cute curly face. Look at his face there. He's pretty much a solid color all the way around. He doesn't have any white. Um, just a solid, beautiful golden red. Just like that. Um, he is super calm. Well, these puppies, they're, they're amazing how uh, calm and sweet they are. Um, I often like to lay them on their backs to see how they act and well, he's just he's just completely relaxed. He's he's even more relaxed than Alfie was. He's he's just very chill. He'll make a great great family pet. Um, they are well used to pets and children and uh, so they're very well acclimated to the family environment. So there you go. Atticus, blue collar boy. So next up we have brown collar boy. That's a dark brown collar, pretty much matches with his coat. And he is a classic golden retriever. He has much more of the golden retriever uh, color and a coat. So if you're looking for a mini golden doodle, it's a little bit more like a golden retriever and doesn't shed, then this would he arrow is going to be a really good fit for you. Um, expect this size. He's a little bit smaller. Um, I would expect him to be uh, probably 25, 27 pounds. He's just such a sweet. He's uh, he's a little bit he's a little bit more shy. He's not quite as relaxed, um, but I'm sure that if I would hold him long enough, once I hold him long enough, he will. Yeah, buddy. So he's uh, I think he has a little bit more of a relaxed. Uh, maybe just a little bit more laid back and calm. Uh, definitely not an alpha puppy. So there you go. His coat is pretty much solid color. And I don't know how sometimes the light doesn't quite translate as far as the 
the color, but he's kind of, he's a very, like a classic golden retriever color. Uh, the darker, the darker golden red. So we have Buster here, he's our rescue. Yeah, buddy, you want some attention to you? So our puppies are very well um, acclimated to other pets and other, we have chickens and other animals. And uh, so they are well acclimated, but yeah, there you go. A little bit less wavy or a little bit more wavy instead of curly, brown collar boy. So next up we have Arlo, teal, yeah, Arlo teal collar boy. So he is the biggest one of the boys um, by a significant margin. And as often is with the larger puppies, they, he's also the most calm and confident. He's not, he's, he just loves to snuggle. He's, he's just completely like a rag doll. Um, he just likes to be held and given attention to. Yeah, buddy. So he, had to, he does have a tiny little white star on his chest. Super cute. And he has, uh, his coat type is a little bit more uh, golden retriever again. So he's uh, a little more wavy and instead, of the, instead of the poodle curly. So if you want a non-shedding golden retriever, a little bit more of the golden retriever look, he is definitely going to be your uh, one for you. Um, size wise, he'll probably be at least 30 pounds, maybe even a little more. Um, I meant to mention this earlier, but the mama uh, Sadie is around 50, 50 ish pounds, and the sire is around 16. Um, is a mini poodle, is the sire, and so just for a frame of reference. So there you go. Teal color boy. Arlo, look at his face, he's so cute. So next up we have Orange Collar Boy, call him Augie on the website. Bright orange collar, and he is the smallest, I think, of the boys. Some, some of the, uh, I think it was uh, Atticus was about the same size, but I think he is the smallest. He has uh, the medium curly coat and a medium red, kind of a golden red. And um, he just woke up, so he's still pretty relaxed. I would say he's kind of just a sweet, um, not shy, not, uh, not super high energy, just a really good fit for a family pet. So he, does, he, get, he is a little, he does, you know, you can see he's a little bit more alert, uh, but he's not shy at all. Um, he loves to sniff around and, and check things out. Uh, he does have just the smallest white markings on his chest and on the tips of his back feet and just a little bit on the top of his head. But he does have some white markings. Super handsome little guy. There you go. That is Orange Collar Boy Augie. So next up we're going to do the girls. There's uh, four girls in this litter. And so we're gonna start off with purple collar girl, Ariel. So uh, she is such a cute little lady. She's um, pretty alert and she just looks around and she has to grind a little bit. I think when she's uh, an adult, she's definitely gonna be a little bit more alert and playful. Um, see how she does when I hold her upside down. She's just like, I don't care. Yeah. She does have a, a little bit of a white on her chest and her color is kind of a medium dark, dark to kind of a darker copper red. Yeah, you are beautiful. There you go. That's Ariel, purple collar girl. So next up we have this pretty little girl. She is bright pink collar and we're calling her Aspen. And she has the most beautiful curly coat. Definitely has the has the poodle coat coming through. Uh, such a cute little face. Look at that. She does have. I think she has a white spot. Yeah, right. Just the faintest little white spot right there in the on her chest. Otherwise, she's like a dark, uh, pretty dark red. Uh, Personality-wise, she is, um, I would say, just a little bit more shy, definitely more shy than Ariel was. Um, 
shy isn't quite the right word, just a little bit more reserved. So they're, she's super calm, she's super relaxed sitting here like this, um, but she's not like alert and, and uh, looking around and attempting to jump off or anything. She's just, she's just relaxed. She can pretty much sit in my hand. There you go. So there you go, that's Aspen. She'll be a good fit for, if you're looking for a little bit more of the poodle look, she'll be a good fit. All right, so next up we have Lavender Collar, calling her Amelia. And uh, she is another one where she is uh, has a beautiful curly coat. She's, uh, I think the girl's definitely got a little bit more of the, the, poodle, uh, the poodle look going on. Uh, definitely more, almost like an F1B, what, you would, what we expect from our F1B puppies. These are F1s, meaning they're first generation golden doodles, um, but they still have that super curly coat. She's, uh, she's definitely more alert, and uh, she's, she's calm, she's relaxed, she's not trying to get off, um, but she's definitely more alert. She keeps her head, you know, looking around, and she wants to, she wants, she likes to look around. But she's not above a cuddle. Yeah. She is a really dark red. I think she's one of the darker ones in this litter, as far as the girls is, uh, is yeah, I think even the, uh, this litter. Um, she has a super dark red face, deep copper, super pretty puppy. Let's see here. Do you have any white? I don't see any white. She has just a little bit on the tips of her toes. Other than that, she's just got that beautiful curly golden doodle look. So next up and last of, uh, of this litter, um, and the smallest, we have light pink collar. We call her Autumn on the website. So she is, as I mentioned, the smallest of the puppies, and she definitely has a little bit more of the, the, the classic F1 golden doodle look. She's got, uh, her, her coat is a little bit more the, the wavy, and she's uh, kind of a light, I mean, excuse me, a medium golden red. So she is super cute. Look at her eyes. She's so cute. Like she's, she just looks at you. So she is. Uh, she's got uh, two tips of her feet are have white on them. Let's see. If she has, and she has a, a nice large blaze on her chest as well. So if you're looking for a uh, wavy mini golden doodle, that's um, more like in the 25 to 27 pound range. She might not even get that big. She would be a good fit. Super calm, super adorable. She just sits there. She would. I think she would actually um, fall asleep if I held her long enough. She's definitely the smallest of this litter too. She just sits Let's there. Yeah. Here. So there you go. This is. Um, this has been Sadie and Cooper's litter. Uh, you can. Again, you can visit our website at hiddenacrespuppies.com. It's in, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to a, a description or just type it into your browser, hiddenacrespuppies.com, and uh, we'll pull up. And you can go to the latest puppies page. You'll see these babies. And uh, if you have any questions, if you want to meet them live on video or in person, feel free to schedule a call um, or contact us, and we'll be, we'd love to have you come out and meet them, or do a video call, and meet them that way. So thanks for watching.